you today. <sighs> yeah. So, ah, just want to kind of give you guys a little update on what's happening, show you a couple things, and you know. <laughs> um, I feel like I've been away from my shop more than I've been at my shop uh, in this last month. Um, my sister can't help me with the shop much now because her daughter is going back to school and her husband's going back to school. So she has to take care of the baby. Well, I guess he's not. Well, he's still a baby. <laughs> uh, she's got to take care of Mason. And she's also got her job. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, I, as you know, I got, God sakes, I got sick uh, with the stomach flu. Um, and then right after that, I ended up, I don't even know how it happened. I woke up um, and I was in so much pain um, my leg my right leg my hip was absolutely killing me I couldn't walk um, I ended up going to the chiropractor and he or, or I had my neck thing first um, and he couldn't adjust me but he did do some stretching and, and stuff like that and then my hip went and I thought what is happening like I'm just I don't know I'm just I feel like I'm breaking down um but anyway I found out I went back to the chiropractor to get that checked and um he adjusted me from head to toe because I forced him to I practically <laughs> you know tackled him and said fix me <laughs> like, it was, oh god um so anyways i have bursitis in my hip apparently uh and i don't know what's happening but my left kidney it just feels like somebody kicked me in my kidney so um i don't know if that is gas or if it is the painkillers I'm taking for my leg or I don't know what's going on but it all it all happened at the same time so uh, I took I've been taking a couple days off work I went in yesterday and the, the market was dead like there was nobody there there was nobody in the town and I was like what is happening so I should have stayed home because being there really messed up my hip. Like I just, I can't, I can't sleep well. I can't lay on my side. I can't like, I'm a side sleeper. And so, yeah, it would, it's not been good. I've been to the chiropractor twice. I'm going to go back on Monday. Um, I'm trying really hard not to cry. <clears throat> um, I'm really feeling defeated. I'm, yeah. I watched Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches video and she was feeling pretty, pretty defeated and pretty down. And I was like, God, I'm right there with you, girl. Like I just, it's one thing after another, after another. And I'm going, can we please stop this crap? You know, like I, I, I can't handle this, you know? Um, yeah. So between all the crap that happened with my lease and all of that, you know, the new owner took over. He finally introduced himself to me. Um, I know he's going to try and ask me to stay and it's like not a freaking chance in hell, but you know, and now that since he's been there, it's only been a couple days. Um, I haven't been there. 
And I'm going, hmm, wonder how that looks to him. <laughs> but you know what? I, I just, I can't. I can't walk. I can't stand. I can't sit very long. Um, and this kidney thing, I don't know what's going on. I think I may, I've been eating a lot of carbs. A lot. I'm like, but yeah, my carnivore diet is out the window. I, I can't even get started on it. Um, but I keep sitting there telling myself as I'm shoving a piece of freaking chocolate in my mouth, you going, you know, remember what it was like when you were on carnivore and you felt so good and you had no pain and you had energy. Like, wouldn't you like to get back to that? What is wrong with you? Stop putting this crap in your mouth, you know? And then when I got sick and I lost the 10 pounds, I was like, yes, clean slate. My gut is empty. I can start over now and I can start on the carnivore diet and I could get myself back on track. And then all this stuff happened. Um, one of my big downfalls is at the market. There's nowhere to eat. There's nothing to eat uh, except crap. And I, I can't put a microwave or a fridge in my shop. It's There's just nowhere to put it. Um, taking a lunch is unheard of because I have nowhere to put it. Um, so I've just given in to eating crap. So I know that bursitis is inflammation and inflammation is probably from all the garbage that I eat. Um, whether it be rice, potatoes, the vegetables, I think are killing me. Because, like, every time I, like, yeah, every time I eat vegetables, I hurt. And now my kidney hurts. And I just finished having a freaking salad, like, a couple days ago. So I'm going, like, I know what the answers are. Can I just get out of my own way and fix the freaking problem? Um, but I'm just, I'm so stressed out and so angry at everything going on around me right now that I just, I can't see straight. So, I mean, just before I started on this video, you know, I have a massive bowl of Halloween candy because we only ended up getting two people this year and then on Halloween day when I thought we were going to have a whole bunch of kids at the market um, I went out and bought a whole bunch of candy nobody showed up I'm just like oh my god now I'm stuck with all this crap and George and I are just picking at it and I'm going oh this is not helping me and so, yeah, so I've got so much inflammation in my body right now. Um, and I'm just, I'm just defeated. <sighs> so, you know, I even started like a while back. I even got everything all set up to do a new YouTube channel, like aside from this one. Um, and I had the name, I had my thumbnail, I had my email all ready to do a carnivore, um, ketovore channel. And I thought that would keep me on track and that would, you know, I never even got it started. And I just, yeah, anyway. Anyway, so that's what I'm going through right now. I'm trying desperately to crochet and put, force myself to crochet because um, that's supposed to give me some peace and, and it's not. Um... I went to go get some business insurance 
um, I've been trying to get business insurance and I keep getting declined and, and denied. And I don't, I didn't know why I, they said it had something to do with the fact that I had children's clothing in my store. So finally, after a few weeks of being angry, I decided to call up the company and say, like, what is the problem? And they said that they don't cover uh, most insurance companies here in, in Canada, BC. They don't cover businesses that carry products for, for kids under five years old. Really? So how do these businesses run their business that have kids toys and stuff like that? And he says, you have to get a special kind of insurance through a different company. And there's very few of them. Uh, and you are going to pay a stupid amount for that insurance. So one more hit. I said, I need business insurance, especially in the new place I'm going to be in. So I talked to them about it and they said, well, you just can't carry anything for kids under, and under five years old. He says, I understand that this could pose a problem and that cuts into your revenue. He said, but, um, I says, I, 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 I don't understand. I says, I crochet baby sweaters. How is that dangerous? And he says, well, they could get caught on something. You know, if they get caught on something and hang themselves or, you know, um, buttons, swallowing buttons or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, God. All right. And then it dawned on me. Ooh, sun already. No, all the sun came out. Um, then it dawned on me. All of my plushies and amigurumis. Can't carry them. All of the stuff that I wanted Jeanette to bring in. Can't carry them. Any baby sweaters or any, like any sweaters I make. Can't carry them. And I just put in a big order with a bunch of stocking stuffers for kids. Fidget spinners, those little pop, th pop things. Um, can't think, but. I, I just have no words. I have no words. My pickles. One of my best sellers. I can't carry them. Hang on a sec, guys. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting hit from all angles. <laughs> I just, anyway, okay, so I gotta stop talking about this because I just, I'm just, I'm, yeah. Okay, so, um, I,
the blue and white sweater that I showed you guys that had the hood and I put the little fur around the hood. I realized I forgot to put buttonholes in it. So I contacted um, a lady that works at the market with me and asked her if it, if she knew how to put a zipper in something that's crocheted and she said yes. So I'm going to go and buy, if I can walk, I'm going to go and buy a zipper for that and ask her to put the zipper in it. <laughs> Just one more thing. So anyway, so I started making another sweater and I realized that I didn't have enough yarn to make a big sweater because the yarn that I'm using is a discontinued Michaels brand. Um, it's the Craft Value or Craft Smart Value Tweed, and it's the old tweed, not the new tweed. So it's like this, and the color was purple violet. Um, and I only had three skein, three or four skeins of this. So, oops. So I thought, okay, well, I'll make as much as I can with it. And then I'll, uh, I'll just, I'll use the value I get. It's called loops and threads now. It's weird. Anyway. Um, and I, and I'll do the rest of the sweater in that. <clears throat> so I started getting a little nervous when I got to this point. So I only did like this much of the sleeve in with this and then the rest of the sleeve I'm going to have to do in black. I'm hoping it's going to look okay. But, and <laughs> I ended up making the sweater a small I've never made anything small in the whole time I've been crocheting. <laughs> Everything I make is large and up. And I think I've made some that could be a medium large, but I've never made anything small because I like to be able to try it on. Well, <laughs> this one is definitely small. Uh, and I don't know what size length the arms are supposed to be. I don't like, that's how I gauge everything, right? Is by trying it on and seeing where it fits. So I had to look up some, um, some size charts to see how long the arms are supposed to be. <laughs> and then I realized as I'm doing the arms that usually in the sweaters that I do, I leave the armhole about nine inches wide. Well, I did that on this sweater too, and I don't think I was supposed to do that because the arms are a little bit big. So, ah, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can put you guys back a bit. Ah, excuse the mess. <laughs> So here it is, and it's a longer one, but look at how tiny this body is. Look at how, look at the width of this. Like, oh my God, <laughs> it looks like a doll sweater to me. Oh, so anyway, I still have to do the, um, the collar and everything. And so I did, look at this, this sleeve should have been probably about that wide for small. So yeah, they're going to have big billowy sleeves. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I did like that much of the sleeve and then I'm going to do the rest of the sleeve in just black. So yeah. But I mean, it's nice. It's just small, <laughs> really small. Oh, so 
but I'm finding that I'm having a hard time finishing this. Oh, I'll bring you guys back. Oh. Oops, sorry. I'm uh, having a hard time finishing it because I'm just not mentally there. Um, I'm already, my brain, of, I'm already one foot out the door of the market and into my new shop. Like I'm just, I'm finding that I'm just not, I don't want to be there. I'm not mentally there. I just, I don't know. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. And then, oh, I went to Michael's and I got, they had, they didn't have a sale on, but I went and I got some more. I couldn't find this, um, the chenille home slim. I couldn't find this color. This is the chicken nugget color. I couldn't find it anywhere. And now I guess it doesn't matter because I won't be able to make chicken nuggets anymore. But I um, I bought a pattern for a pumpkin spice pie. What the heck? Like, I, I saw this and I thought, I want to make one. <laughs> the pie is like, it's big and it's a stuffy, right? But I, I don't know why. I just love pumpkin spice anything. And I saw this and I was like, a pumpkin pie. I have to have, I have to make one. <laughs> this is where my mind is going. I'm going out of my mind. So anyways, I, I bought one. And then I saw the brown. I figure I can use that for the crust or something. And then I was like, what is that, burnt crust? That's, <laughs> I don't know. My brain doesn't work. I, it's like, I don't know. And then I found this one and I thought, well, that might be a better, better uh, crust. So I don't know. So I bought that. But anyway, I got, I went to the, of course, I went to the latte aisle, of course. And they had this one. And I've had this before and I absolutely love it. Um, I just bought one. Because I'm thinking about, and I said I wasn't going to do this, but I don't know. I'm thinking about making it another poncho. But not as long as the one I did. Because it started to curl at the ends and I didn't like that. My sister wore it the other day. She came into the shop and everybody's like, oh, I love that. And she's like, my sister made it for me. And so... <laughs> But I thought, I wouldn't mind trying to make another one. So, so yeah, so I, I got this one. And I thought, yeah, I'll make, maybe make a purple and white one or something. But I know this just one cake is not going to do a poncho. But I have, I have a few other purple things that I might put in with it. So, there's that. Ugh. Um... One of the things that I purchased for the Christmas, for Christmas um, in the shop, I bought a few of them. I'm still waiting for everything to show up, but I got one, got one in today and I thought I'd show it to you because I thought this is a really neat idea. Ugh. And uh, I'm thinking I might make, make this a staple in my shop. Well, I guess I gotta back you guys up again. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Okay. So these are triangle, oops, triangle style. Like it's big, it's really big. Triangle Scott, <laughs> triangle style scarves. So, it's uh, like that, but it's got a clip on the end. So when you put it on, of course I've got a hoodie on. You put it around here. Uh, like this. And then you... 
loops and make sure that this is flipped and this is flipped and then you take the clip and you clip it onto the other side like that there so yeah and then you can wear it over top of um, uh, turtlenecks or bring it down a little bit. So you can wear it on a turtleneck. You can have this as tight or as loose as you want, right? Like you can put this down even further and loosen it right up if you wanted to. Whoops. You can't see. Can't see what I'm doing. I have to go by what's in the camera. So yeah, you can make this as loose as you want, or this as big as you want, right? So, yeah. So, anyways, I thought uh, I thought it was a really cute idea. Of course, I'm totally wearing it all wrong, but it gives you the idea of what it is. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, I thought that was a really, really neat thing. I've got a few different styles coming. Like, different uh, pictures on them. Ones with butterflies. Uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I'll show you those when they come in. And I thought, yeah, that's great. Because then it doesn't come off. Right? Like, it's, like, with normal scarves and stuff. Um, so that keeps, keeps them on. And I was thinking about like, if you made a triangle scarf, like crocheted a triangle scarf and you put one of those clips on, uh, in the same way, then it wouldn't slide off. Right. Do you know when you wear scarves and stuff, when you wear scarves and stuff, how they, um, George is home. How they can fall off and then, you know, it's a pain in the neck. Um, so I thought that would be a really great idea. So I'm hoping those will sell well. But uh, anyways, I guess that's it for me, guys. Uh, that's all I want. I, this was kind of like a bitch fest, I think. It's terrible. I'm sorry. This is just how I'm feeling. So, yeah. But I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what that sweater looks like when it's finished. And, uh, and then I'll let you know what else I'm working on. Okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye!